this thing. Welcome to the Spider Studios. He just farted. So this is the Spider A room. Or B room, it was the original A room. This is where the Age of Hell was recorded. Might have seen some stuff from there, marked it all as vocals. The Age of Hell back in there. He kind of cleared out a bunch of gear for what's now the A room. But uh, this used to be where it all happened while he was finishing the A room during construction. We can see the A room back through that window and right through this window is where Kamira's jamming in there. Here we've got the Spider Studio main A control room. There's Mark through the glass. So this is a out, view out the window there where spacuza has been standing. Austin, there's Jim in the background. My rig. Let's take a look at this Pro Tools rig. A lot of cool outboard gear. You know, I, to be honest with you, I, I really want to go back to the old days here, you know, like the 20 years ago when we recorded as, you know, at, at the original OG Spider The Studios. Garage. The Garage. Yeah, did you ever record there? Fun. Yeah, that was oh, okay. awesome. Which, when did you record there? With Bleed the Sky, we did our demo there oh. and um, um, the full length. But for me, it's, it's hilarious because I think this is the first time I've ever been out here and done any kind of rehearsing without just immense snow. Like it's just like, it just the lines, uh, the, the stars always aligned to where yeah. I'd be out here. And it's like, I just remember pulling up that garage, like there's this like space heater in there. And like, we're all huddled up near the space heater. And the minute you pull up that garage door, oh, yeah. it's like frigid. And yeah. Yeah, so this is, a, this is a hoodie that we almost made for the last show. It sat in my closet for five years. And there's a one of one. And I was like, hey, Mark, you want this? I can't, I'm, I can't wear this. But it has all these embroidered points. This is like established 1998. It's got the self-titled hood. Oh, on the inside? Yeah. And so we were going to custom make these out of China Whoa. at the last show. And into I was working with a guy who was China. who did a sample, but it needed adjustments. Like that should have been bigger. Mm -hmm. and that was off. And so I, mean, I just gave up because he's a pain in the ass to work with. But yeah, That's pretty cool. Probably. Look at this thing. Yeah, dude. Austin putting on the the heads right now very I'm cool speechless. what do you got to say about that matt I, you got I, i'm blown away the old rig back no you're right there oh, look at that is I that what you're using drums. yeah yeah 5150 through the mesa yep. oh, away. but yeah look at this i'm gonna put the rim on that oh, yeah, yeah. Where Yep. Took a pic of your settings. Can't go wrong. Nice. <laughs> it's surreal for me. It always has been just being a part of this band's history because in Bleed the Sky, it's like we've mm -hmm. idolized this band, you know what I mean? And, and to like, I don't know, like you have gut instincts and I don't know, but I always had this feeling like somehow I'm going to mm -hmm. meet these guys. And like <laughs> it just kept getting closer and closer. And then, you know, Ben's doing our mm -hmm. shit and then... Stars line, you asked me to jam, and I jam on, you know, handles his kit one night and we exchanged numbers and the rest is history, you know? And it's, yeah, it's it's just wild. It's just, it, above anything else, it's just an honor. It's an honor, you know? My my whole career revolves around everybody in front, in front of me right now. What you opening up there, Matt? My D7 string. A D? First time playing live. It plays like butter, it's mint. Oh yeah? Yeah. <coughs> Gorgeous finish. First cool. thing I've ever played live. Uh, this one's an MFA 4. Oh, uh, there she is. Rust aluminum. It's got all the silver hardware. The, it's got a chrome silver um, 81. Excalibur. Oh, dude, the fretboard. Looks money. It pops, right? It looks like you got one of those plastic pieces that they sometimes ship with. Like, it, right. like this, it got a nice gleam to it yeah i like the chrome 81 i'm blown wow. away with the uh brushed aluminum is what they call it the paint 
Yeah. You know, going to Spider Studios back in the day, you know, like right after high school, we'd go play, you know, we'd play softball and come to Ben's studio at on Sunday nights and record like all the Sacrific stuff. And, you know, if I go back to those days and think of that, all the stuff that we did at Ben's studio and then leading up to all the Kamira and Switch stuff, like up into that era, it was a very cool period of time for music because now I think We've record anything I've ever recorded with, you know, like anything was always at the old studio. I've never, I've recorded here once after, but like, you know, I never got a chance to record here. So spending the time here jamming and doing all this stuff was always, you know, like it would have been cool, like to be able to record those records here, you know, and do that here, obviously, because of the space and all that stuff like that. But that garage, you know, the history's there, you know, like the, the Strongsville metal scene history is there, you know. I used to bring this stuff up back in the day with Ben and stuff a long time ago. He's like, I always told him it's all about the scene. And these guys never believed me. They had no idea that I, what I was talking about. And now, look at the scene now. There's it's still nothing. But, you know, it's still, <laughs> it, it still, you know, rings, you know, out, you know, like that. We did have our own scene. You know, Seattle had the scene, New York, LA, Strongsville, we had our own scene. With all, the, think of all the people that have been around and 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 you know, that's been a, around this whole thing. Spider Studios, like I mean, it's like this. It's it's the 20th anniversary of just celebrating all that. All right, Matt tells me he's got another one here. Last but not least, another one I've been waiting to see. MFA five. Oh. Gosh, dang it! I could have done a better polish job. Um, yeah, let, let's let's do this shot again after you polish it up. No, <laughs> Look at that jewelry on there. And it's got the Floyd. Ooh, some, that pickup. Oh, that's just that's just fingerprints. It look from in, the camera. It makes it look like a deterioration, like like bronze. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh man. A lot of mixed reviews about gold hardware online. Some guys love it. I love it. I love it. Some guys don't like it. It pops. It, it, yeah. Penguins colors. Pittsburgh Penguins. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Good call. I think it's classy. Yeah. An impossibility. Very cool. <laughs> cool. Give us a smile while like that. We'll, we'll hold them so it'd be a good, good, good screenshot. Yeah. Like where you, where you're holding it up <laughs> and just uh... like this. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, you guys got it all. Impossibility. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, come on down to the milk. Yeah, it's weird. It's different because the last time we played, it was like you know holidays. It was like okay, back to the, uh, the you know the Christmas shows, but now it's like this is just like this is perfect. You know, May it kind of feels like California out there ish. Like I just want to get it through. I want to get through it because nonstop thinking of like just the presentation of 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 what people are gonna see along with what we're playing, you know? Like with that, the whole thing, just like the visual of it, like I just can't wait. So, so what do you got going on this time, Chris? Well, uh, I am tasked with live samples, backup vocals, and video playback. Uh, I'm starting to go all out and get a big video wall, and in order to do that, we're running Ableton Live with time code, uh, running into this uh, laptop over there, that is using a QLab, and if you can see up there, it's projecting it up to that TV. I got this nifty little controller that I can use to switch between songs, make sure you know we're playing the right thing. And uh, the rest of it is my old setup. Uh, laptop of Contact, just running out of uh, MIDI control. It's, it's, it's newer, but it's the same, it's the same old setup. But it's like an office <laughs> working desk there, you yeah, know? Yeah, I've got this whole, this whole area. Stay, stay seated like that.
eight songs total that we have to learn for the show, right? Is that what it is? Definitely been a process to get this shit to where it's at a caliber where we can, we can all be fucking pumped and like ready and like, you know, get the nerves out of the building. Cause you know, diff all those different changes and like stuff that, you know, you play, you play professionally for so long and um, you know, with age and stuff comes, you know, inevitability, you know, you just start declining and, and, and but you never want to um, submit to that. So you, f you just pull it, pull it out your ass and f keep going, you know what I mean? And we certainly have enough characters in this room that to take this shit seriously. So it's been like a conjoined effort to make, to make that shit pop, I think. And, and, it, and it, if everybody didn't care this much, we wouldn't be as, good, as right where we're at right now. You know what I mean? It's being That's real. A good point. Two Ascension legends in the same room. The years of fire, the vibes are strong, huh? Oh. <laughs> Dude, dicks down to here. Dude, I, I, I can... <laughs> I remember go, going to the shows as a kid and seeing you guys and how cool. I, you guys ruled. Chris Wood, dude. I was actually going to go... I was actually going to go... Another one, too? Another USB? Uh, as well, six strings. Six strings. Yeah, it's the. And that's the baritone. Uh, well, this, right? this is the baritone. Oh, okay. Dude, it's, it's so. It's, it's way more awkward than I was like expecting. Oh, really? It just goes so stretch. Like doing those. Yep, I know that one. We have baritones. It's like doing it on a bass. This thing is sick, Rob. Which one's that one? And what is it? 1007B. 1007B. Oh, wow. The back of that neck, yeah, so it's ah! right. That purple sack. Ah! Is that considered, what is that considered? Anything. It's a natural satin, but they purple? started doing it where they're kind of like matching the color of it. You know? I just scratch my balls, so what is it? With this hand. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Are we, um, nice. are these glow in the dark? What's that? Are these glow in the dark? They are glow in the dark, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Main or second? What do you think? I think I'm going to start with it. Friday night, you know? Bill, did you need a drill? Bill, did, did you need a drill? I think I'm good. Okay. Now that you're already done, good timing for my part. Yes, sir. Wow, bless God. Never be yeah, the that's, same. That's the f***ing. Yeah. That's the centerpiece. The center beast. Is that 15 inch? 14. 14. This is their new stage custom. It's a all birch kit. Um, my man Greg, my rep, that's treated me well from day one. Like awesome story out the gate. Like <laughs> I got with Yamaha and um, he brought me my first kit. Like this kit's almost like mimicking the same presentation. Like the go the way kind of guy is just goes out of his way to do something just ridiculously awesome that he doesn't need to. He brought me my first kit ever to Ozfest and like brand new out the box, like helped me set the whole kit up. And then I played it for the first time in front of like kind of people, you know. So this was very parallel to that because certainly didn't need to go out of his way, but he painted it all himself and was like handling all the logistics, making sure all of it got here on time and, and all during like doing NAM. And we all know NAM, like NAM's a fucking huge event. I'm just super blown away always by uh, Yamaha and and you know Greg, he's just been super awesome, and I can't wait for everybody to trip out on on this kit. And I think he did a fucking. I'm kind of excited mint to see what's gonna look, Yeah, I can't wait to see what it looks like. It's gonna look fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, Hagar had this question. So we're you know we're going. Sound right so far? Yep. Yeah. And I go. Do you I keep, keep doing the same, same exact thing. Okay. Oh, so it is. Yep. Okay. That's, that's, what I, I, that's what I keep doing. Because I couldn't tell on the recording. Because on the recording, when he starts doing that lead thing, it almost right, it sounds, it out. It almost sounds yeah. like you just keep going. Yeah. The whole time. So right. Eliminating that triplet it's, it's, thing you're talking about. But you keep doing the triple. I okay? keep doing the triple. Okay. Thing, yeah. I mean, okay. Maybe on the record it was like that, but whatever. Yeah, I, don't know. I think it's true. That thing sounds good on her. Cool.
Now, if you look past now 20 years, this thing, this, you know, impossibility reason, it's, it's amazing that people still care about it, you know? That's nice. I could, uh, have you sign a couple things after this? Yeah, sure. You want me to sign your tits? Great. Just one tit. <laughs> oh, just yeah. yeah. Which one? Though? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wrapping it up here after a long, tired day. How you feeling, Zooter? All about that energy still. Are you? Yeah. It's going to be an unforgettable moment in time.